Welcome back, you guys. It's another peaceful night here at Moonlight Mantids. As there are no surprises, we have a little time to give you an up-close look at some of our other inverts, and the timing couldn't be more perfect because today is feeding day. A ritual here at Moonlight Mantids where we give every last member of our family a full inspection, which includes feeding, watering, and cleaning. We also upgrade individuals that may have grown too large for their current setup. What we're looking at here is Sifdromantis gastricta, the giant African mantis. This is a sub-adult female and a future breeder of ours. This is an adult male, Sifdromantis gastricta. This is the mate to the female that you saw. He shed into adulthood about three weeks ago and he'll survive a few more months as she prepares for adulthood herself and goes through her final malt. Just a demonstration to show you that mantids do in fact drink from the sides of their container, leaves or whatever they have. You don't have to tongue feed all your adult mantids. They're capable of catching their own food. I enjoy it though, it's how we spend time together. It's pretty fun to watch. I'll take a few moments to show you not just our mantids, but some of the other inverts that we keep. I like all kinds, big or small. They got a place in my heart, and they have a place here at Moonlight Mantids. During feeding, we did make one little discovery. I just can't believe it. I think it has something to do with the temperature. It's not exactly bad luck, but it does put a wrench in our plans to show you more of the inverts. Anyway, here we go again. What you're looking at is uh, Popa Sperka or the Twig Mantis. I'm guessing there's probably 150 nymph here. Let's use this opportunity again to uh, answer some more questions. There's always something new to learn, so let's get started. I just gotta get someone to help me.
unfortunately we did find this one stuck to his worm skin. The only way to release him from it is to take a paintbrush and make it moist and very gently try to loosen the worm skin. This happens on occasion depending on humidity. This can be a pretty common occurrence to be honest. I find it's worth it to try to help them out of it uh, if you're delicate and if even if they lose a leg or two they are able to regrow them during their next shed. His legs might be a little bit crooked, but those will straighten out during his next shed, as long as he can hang upside down. I'm going to go ahead and mark this one when I put him into a container, that way we can follow his progress. But you can tell he's pretty thirsty from struggling that whole time. He is pretty happy to have a nice drink. I hope he makes it. I think he deserves a name, and if you guys can think of one, put it in the comments below. Well now that he's taken care of, we can go ahead and put the youth back after we remove the worm skins and we'll see if any stragglers come out. Now that our newest members are safely put away, I think we can call it a night. In total, there were 146 nymph in that hatch. Let's go ahead and check one more time before we finish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more, go ahead and click that mantis at the corner of your screen and subscribe.